John Emery of Ross Small following, I suppose, a disappointing result in the grand scheme of things, but uh, a well-earned point here at Chippenham. Small, you just give us your thoughts and reflections on that one. Well, I think if you offer us a point at Chippenham before the game today, we take it. We'd be grateful for not getting beat. We'd be grateful for a reaction to last week. And we'd be grateful for a hard-earned point on the road. When you're 2 new up with 10 minutes to go, or four minutes to go plus a six minutes of injury time, um, you want three points. And um, it's a really hard one to take. It's football. We have those moments for you. You have those moments against you. We can't control necessarily, as a, as a management team, we can't control those. What we can control is, you know, was our approach today right? Was our selection right? Did we, did we get absolutely everything out of the players available to us today? The answer to that is yes. So when you remove the emotion and the disappointment of that result, I think you have to acknowledge uh, the players' efforts today. You have to acknowledge their performance and you have to be proud of it. And that is so hard to do when uh, you've ended up drawing a game that, that you look like you were in control of. So, you know, it's not somewhere I've not been before. I've had this, I've had this feeling before in football. It's a really uh, disappointing moment. Um, in, the, in the overall grand scheme of things, there are plenty of disappointing moments. Um, we have to just uh, believe in the players that we've got, and I do. Uh, I thought we had some really, really good performances today and believe in you know ourselves and you know what what we our work and what we're asking the players to do and i thought everything was spot on today you know from all from all parties um unfortunately uh, it wasn't enough so we uh we dust ourselves down we swallow the disappointment and um we uh, try and find a way to win the next game which is tuesday we'll, we'll, we'll look at the positives and i thought especially Jack Thomas, obviously, first game was last weekend against Weymouth, and well, I mean, it's quite difficult to put out a positive performance from that he one. Came yeah. back <laughs> for the next game. But he was impressive. He scored a nice acrobatic goal to get us one up, and I thought Blanche as well did quite well in the midfield. In fact, Willow too in the midfield. Those three were, were quite important this afternoon, weren't they? Yeah, look, you know, there's there's lots of things to acknowledge today. Joe Burton just played in the conference south at 18 at centre half. I was getting on to that um, one, Dan. No first team football. <laughs> um, you know, the boys in midfield absolutely emptied their tank. Like you say, Jack. Jack's a serious player. Uh, he's a seriously positive influence on the group and on the team on the pitch. Uh, he is, you know, someone that epitomises the Concord DNA, as, as, as um, you know, we refer to it. Um, and he's someone that, you know, I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have him out on the pitch. Um, but you know, all through the team, there were some brilliant, some really brilliant performances. Mitchell kept us in it for the first 20 minutes when we were getting run over because we were. Um, the boys showed great character to dig in, you know, and, and weather that pressure and grow into the game. We've scored two brilliant goals. You know, we had substitutes that came on today and made positive impacts. Quentin got thrown on, you know, after 20 minutes when when Louis was injured. Um, he was magnificent. So <laughs> there's a lot of like great stuff to talk about today. Just it didn't. It, we just didn't get what we perhaps deserved. And we'll, we'll touch on Quinton. I thought he came on what after twenty minutes, and he, he he really did run the show down that right hand side, and he was intricate in the middle as well, driving through. It must be really impressive how easily he slotted into the game. Yeah, I mean, you know, we're grateful. We're grateful, you know, for Potter's Bar working with us, um, you know, to allow us to bring Quentin to the club. He's someone that I've worked with, you know, for uh, you know for a good period at my last club. And um, you know, I had no doubt in, in what he could bring to this team. It's probably a little bit sooner than I'd liked um, because you know we're devastated that that Lewis had a recurring injury. Um, but yeah, he's he's brilliant, and he's another person that you know makes us better for having him. You've mentioned Rambo, but we'll talk before we go on to him. Another big positive was Lewis Manor, obviously injured in his I think third game for us. Uh, he's a good mate of yours as well. We've seen him running behind us today. How pleased were you for him to just get out there? Even if it was just ten minutes, I know that you probably could have had more in the yeah, time. Well, it went on. At but you would have. <laughs> <laughs> he's already said that to me. <laughs> but how impressed yeah. were you on a, on a on a managerial level, not just a friend level, to get him back out there today? I'm just, you know, I mean, listen, I'm impressed with how he has applied himself mentally and physically to coming back from this injury and getting himself back in a position that he can be on the pitch to help us between now and the end of the season. What that ends up looking like, we don't know yet. Um, but he's a massive person, massive personality, massive character and a posit another positive influence on the group. So just having him in the changing room gives everyone an enormous lift. And I think in the coming weeks, 
once he uh, gets minutes under his belt, then um, you know he'll be someone that that makes a big impression on this division. Yeah, perfect. So we'll leave it at that, and we'll look at it maybe as a point game Cheers. rather and than. And can I just loss. say, yeah, thank you to the guys that have travelled down Ten here of today. Us double figures this week. <laughs> you know, it's um, you know the guys that have travelled here today after what they saw last week, and they still got in their cars or their trains wherever they got here. Um, our little band of supporters, you know. I'm, I'm I really wish I could have thanked them with three points. Instead, they'll have to do with me just thanking them in this moment. But I you know, really appreciate you know the efforts they made to get here today. And just sorry that we couldn't, we didn't have quite enough to get over the line at the end. But um, lots of green shoots and lots of positive stuff to come. Perfect, Smallsy. We'll leave it at that. Thank Cheers. you very much.